In this tutorial, I'll show you how to calculate the Spearman correlation coefficient. Now before we answer the question that I've prepared, let's discuss what this is. The Spearman correlation coefficient is the non-parametric version of the Pearson correlation coefficient, R. And remember, that tells us the type of linear relationship that exists between two variables, whether it is positive, negative, weak, strong, and so on. Unlike the Pearson correlation, however, it is based on ranking the two variables and making no assumption about the distribution of the values. So when the data isn't normally distributed, we tend to use this coefficient. That being said, the question reads, suppose we wish to assess the relationship between the number of cigarettes smoked per day and the number of hours of aerobic exercise per week. A total of 12 subjects agreed to participate in the investigation, and we measured the typical number of cigarettes smoked per day and the number of hours of exercise in a typical week on each subject. Calculate the Spearman correlation to determine the relationship between the two factors. The formula that we'll be using to do this is shown underneath, and it's the exact same thing as the Pearson correlation. Notice the formulas, we take the covariance of x and y, and we divide it by the variance of the x and the y variable. And that's shown right here. Now before we can use this formula, we need to rank both of these columns. Now don't make the mistake of pooling all these numbers together. No, you do it column by column or variable by variable. Let me show you the first one. We have from lowest to highest, zero being the first rank. There are several zeros here. One, two, three, four, five. Let me just label this one, two, three, four, five. Now they're all tied, so I can't designate this as rank one, rank two, and so on. What I will do is add up these ranks, one plus two plus three plus four plus five. That gives me a total of 15, and I divide this by the number of observations in that tie, which is five. This gives me a value of three. So this rank is three, 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 and three. The next lowest number is three. That gets a rank of six. Then comes four. That's ranked seventh. We have two observations with five. The next in line is eight and nine. Let's add those up. Eight plus nine is 17. Divide 17 by two is 8.5. So that's ranked 8.5 and so is this one. In 10th place is 10, 11, 12, those are tied, so I'll write down 11.5. You have to do the exact same thing for this column as well. If you do it correctly, you should end up with the following ranks. Now that we have these values, we can actually start to focus in on this formula. Now there's a lot involved in this formula, take a look. We have the sum of x times y, the sum of x, the sum of y, and so on. This means that we should find all of these individually and then substitute them into the formula. For example, let's go ahead and multiply these values together and add them all up. I'll create an extended table here where I have x times y. For the first one, we have 11.5 times 1.5. That's equal to 17. 0.25, and I'll find the rest of the values, add them up, and that will give me my sum. Doing this each time and adding them up will give you 445. Now I'm not going to show all these because it's just time consuming and you can do them yourself. What else does this formula call for? It calls for the sum of all x ranks. Adding up all these ranks should give you a sum that is 78. Adding up all of these ranks will give you a sum of 78 as well. The formula also calls for squaring each of the ranks and summing those numbers up. Let me write that down over here. The sum of all the x ranks raised to the power of 2 is 639. And the same is required for these ranks. That is shown right here you should end up with a value that's 648.5. Let's go ahead and substitute those into this formula so we can finally calculate our Spearman correlation. And that's denoted with the Greek letter rho or r sub s. 
n represents the number of observations. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This value is right here, 445. Minus 78 times 78, these two. Over. Now, to calculate the variance, this part, we will use this formula. n is equal to 12. That was found at 639 minus 78 raised to the power of 2. Multiply 2 again, an n value of 12, 648.5 minus 78 raised to the power of 2. Now make sure that all of that is within the square root. Putting this into your calculator, you should end up with a final value of negative 0.4. Five, three. What this tells us is that there seems to be a weak inverse relationship between the number of cigarettes smoked per day and the number of hours of exercise per week. And so there you have it. That is how to calculate the Spearman correlation coefficient.